Hey, what's going on, everyone? This video I've been doing a review of the Asus RT AC66U wireless dual band router, and it does support AC signal, which I'll get into a little bit uh, later on. For now, let's start with the physical design. You'll notice that the router itself is fairly large compared to my phone, uh, especially compared to the Linksys Cisco routers. I'm not really a fan of them. They've had given me a lot of problems in the past. This is by far the best router I've ever used in my life. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty big, but extremely reliable. You'll notice that there's numerous amount of LED lights. Um, they pop up when the router is actually plugged in. So over here you have the LED notificator for if there's power plugged in. These four numbered here are for the ports at the back. If you have anything connected in via LAN, then of course over here, kind of looks like the Internet Explorer logo. That is if you have WAN, and you have one for 2.5, sorry, 2.4 gigahertz and one for 5 gigahertz. If any of them are active and running. And of course, you have a USB LED notificator. And all these notificators kind of, you get a better idea of what they mean when you check the back. At the back, you have DC in for power, a power button, two USB ports. This is the reset button, which resets it to factory default settings, uh, your WAN port, four LAN ports, and a WPS button. It comes with three antenna, which are detachable. You just simply unscrew them and they do come off. According to ASUS, you can buy third-party antennas, which apparently increase signal if it's from a reliable brand. Uh, so yes, you can actually make this router even more powerful in terms of range than it already is. And believe me, this thing has a crazy amount of range. Okay, so I'm going to be doing the software side of things because this is the huge, huge chunk of the router uh, with this built-in uh, software, which you simply access by obviously going to 192.168.1.1. Um, the first time you set it up, it'll tell you that there's an update available. Now here's the thing about this router. Uh, in fact, this is probably the only problem I could ever find with, with this router is that after the initial update, the router crashed and it wouldn't work anymore. Um, after about two to three hours of fiddling and uh, searching the internet, trying to find a fix, uh, what I had to do is actually um, use the software that came in the box, uh, like a recovery type of software. I had to use that to fix the router. So you may or may not encounter this problem. Uh, many people on the net have encountered it, including myself, but I fixed it, and once it was fixed, I never, ever had a problem again. And I've been using this router for over half a year. I just never got around to reviewing it until now. Okay, so I will also be doing a practical test. Uh, I'm not going to give you exact numbers of how much uh, you know, megabits per second I can get, but I'm just going to give you a practical test of me standing outside and trying to download something from a, a fair, a pretty far distance. But anyway, let's start with the software, because this is the most important. Setting up, once the update is done, it's going to tell you, can you set up a password and stuff for your uh, 2.4 gigahertz signal and one for your 5 gigahertz signal, as well as a name. For those of you that read Naruto, Naruto manga, you'll notice that uh, my 2.4 gigahertz is named Susano, and my 5 gigahertz is named Perfect Susano. <laughs> okay, so this is basically your network map. Uh, as you can see, here is the basically internet information. I've blocked some of it out uh, purposely. Here's my router. Um, how many clients are currently connected, basically like my, say my cell phone, my tablet, uh, my wife and mother's tablet, my desktop PC, a whole bunch of stuff. I currently have six devices connected right now to my network. Uh, this is my USB stick. Now, I currently have a 16 gig USB stick connected right now for demo purposes, but I have connected a 1.5 terabyte hard drive, external hard drive, and it works pretty good. It does a decent job. I have tried hooking up a 4 terabyte hard drive and it went bonkers, so I wouldn't recommend anything too huge. Uh, 1.5 I, to 2 terabytes is pretty much the limit, okay? And here on the side you can adjust your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz um, settings very quickly. Now, if you go over to Guest Network, this is pretty neat. You can set up some uh, guest passes on your 2.4 or 5 gigahertz signal. Um, and it'll basically restrict them from getting access to your internet. So you can give them special passwords, which you can just set up by simply clicking enable. As you can see, uh, it took about maybe 10 to 15 seconds to enable a guest pass. Here's the password and stuff, uh, time remaining, limitless. If I click it, you, you can adjust more. There's a certain access time. Uh, so this is pretty neat when you have friends coming over or uh, relatives, you don't want them accessing too much stuff. Okay, so let me explain how dual band works. Uh, in this example. So let's say uh, my mother's tablet is connected on 2.4 gigahertz 
and she wants to stream content from my dad's computer to her tablet wirelessly. Well, she'll use 2.4 gigahertz. And what I'll do is if I want to stream some content from my PC to my phone, maybe I want to use 5 gigahertz spectrum. This way, our, our two signals, our, my mom streaming and me streaming, won't interfere. Or for example, if my wife wants to use 2.4 and I'll use 5, it won't interfere with one another. So there's less load on your network in that regard. It does not help your internet speed. It's more of your home network or business network or whatever you're uh, currently doing. So one thing I want to do is apologize in advance, um, which I should have done at the beginning of this video, is that I won't be going through every single feature available in this router. It's just, there's just too, too many. It's r ridiculous how many options are packed in this router. Um, I'll be going through the most important ones and giving you a general idea of what's available. Uh, so another feature you have is Traffic Manager. Of course, this is where you have quality service, but um, I, I choose to just leave it off as it is. Um, basically, at any point when I go to a certain section, you can pause the video and read the description because, again, this will make this video like over an hour long. There's just too many options. Probably an hour and a half, actually. Um, I tend to leave this off. Uh, I, my family doesn't really use online gaming and all that other stuff, but uh, we leave it off. Here, you have traffic monitor. Um, you can, you know, see how much data is currently being used and whatnot. Okay, moving along, you have something called parental control. Okay, this will be a superb feature for um, parents. And here's what it basically does. As you can see, you can just kind of read it for yourself. I, as I said, you can pause the video. What happens is if you turn this on and if you say put some information about, say, say you have a kid who's, I don't know, nine years old. They're addicted to the internet or they get a hold of your tablet and they constantly use it, but you want them to go to sleep, but they don't want to because they want to surf the net. You can actually block them from uh, using it at a certain time, after a certain time. USB application is one of the coolest parts about this uh, router. Not only can you access your, so for example, right now I have a video on my uh, USB stick connected to my router. Well, obviously I can stream it, that's right. So basically what I'll do is, I'll plug in a USB stick with some videos into the ASUS router, I'll go to my smart TV, and um, I'll look up something on the network, and I can actually locate the AC66U router, uh, which I'm reviewing right now, and see what's connected to its uh, USB port. So I have my USB stick and I have a video. I can stream the video straight from my router. What's awesome is that you also have a whole bunch of options here in USB application. If I go to AI disk, um, you can share files through your internet. Uh, you can create your own FTP. Let's go back quickly because this is a huge section. Server center. As you can see, you can set up DLNA, all that other good stuff. I'm not going to go into all these options here, it's just way too many, but I want to give you a general idea of what you can do. You can set up a network printer, so you can actually hook up, uh, if you have a non-wireless printer, you can hook it up, you can plug the USB printer's uh, USB port into the one of the USB ports in your router. So basically, your, your printer, if it's non-wireless, becomes a wireless printer. Uh, if you have a 3G, 4G USB stick, you can plug it in directly to your router and that becomes a portable router. Well, not portable because you have to plug it in, but you know what I mean. Download Master is something I find very unique about this router. I mean, there's many unique things, but Download Master, basically what it does is, I have my USB stick connected right now. You can download torrents directly to your uh, connected storage device. Okay, so I'm under AI Cloud right now. And you can pause the video and read this uh, through if you want, because I'm, I'm going to go through this very quickly. If you want a very thorough explanation, just kind of read it for yourself. I'm just going to give you the gist of some of the options available, just some of them. Uh, basically, one option is if you want to plug in some sort of uh, hard drive or USB storage device onto the router, you can access all those files wirelessly on your phone. That means even if you're on a 3G or LTE network and you're not connected to your home network, you can still access those files th through your phone. Uh, of course, you would have to download an app. You can get it for Google Play and uh, iOS. Um, another option, which is really cool, over here is called Wake on LAN, uh, which basically allows you to wake up a, a computer that's sleeping or in sleep mode. Now, keep in mind, this will not work on every single computer out there. Uh, it's something you have to test and use. Okay, so under the Advanced tab, here we have Wireless. You can configure a whole bunch of different stuff. And one very important detail I almost forgot to mention, I really apologize for this, uh, is that this router supports 802.11 ABGN and the new uh, AC. AC, I think, supports up to 450 megabits, uh, which is vastly superior compared to N. 
um, and it, it works phenomenal. I'm not going to go to all these options here. Basically, you can set up, you can configure your LAN settings. Uh, you can, you know, change your DNS and all the other good stuff. Here you can configure your WAN. This is very detailed information um, that some of it I had to cover because it's regarding my home internet. Or you can configure your IP version 6. And you can set up a VPN server. Um, this is, might be very important for some people, whereas some people might find it kind of gimmicky, but uh, it's it's neat to have that available if you ever need it. Of course, you can configure your firewall information under administration. Okay, now here, this is something, this part is a little important for some people, I suppose. You can read the description for yourself, just pause the video here, but if you ever want to change it, so right now I have it as a currently uh, the AC66U is currently just a regular router. I can AC change it to a media bridge, which would basically allow um, two AC66U routers to communicate with one another. One would uh, be used to connect to the internet, and the other one would be more for uh, home networking and stuff. And of course, you can also configure it as a access point. And system log, finally, this is a whole bunch of stuff. As you can see, I had to unplug my router to show you guys what it looked like physically, but since then, it's been up for the last 42 minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is do some practical uh, wireless testing. I'm not going to do exact numbers of megabits per second and all that other stuff because it depends on Wi-Fi, uh, how, far is the, how far is the router from your device, how many walls are in between, uh, how powerful is the signal in your wireless device, does it support A, B, G, N, A, C, which one does it use. So there's too many factors involved. Um, so I'm just going to give you more of a practical test. So let's go outside and uh, continue on. Okay, so right now I'm outside. Uh, I'm gonna download an app called Skype. Very popular, you should know about it anyway. As you can see, I'm, it, max size is 14.23 megabytes. That's the size of the app itself. And look at the speed I'm downloading at. It's fairly quick. I would say, I think I'm on deals on the internet. I cap at 800K. I think I'm getting about 800K right now. As you can see, I'm downloading really quick. I've downloaded 10 megs in just a few seconds. I'll stop it there. And uh, I, I'm about 60 feet away from the router you know some companies they advertise on the router on the box to say yeah you can reach up to 200 feet 150 feet when in reality that never ever ever happens well this is like a more reality practical test and I'm 60 feet away I'm getting the full speed of my internet and I've tested it from further distances you know on my street just walking down my street a little bit I would say I could hit about a hundred feet and still get uh, the same speed about 110 to 120 feet then it's kind of pretty much dead but that's a huge distance in fact I used to have dual router uh, two routers in my home when I got this router I got rid of both of them because they're old and this router has more range than those two combined um, okay so it's really bright right now what I'm actually doing right now is streaming some content from my phone which is the unt uh, 1080p video I recorded to my TV I don't know if you guys can hear the instrument playing in the background on the TV uh, basically it's a video of my cousin just jamming away on an Indian instrument uh, so I'm still about 60 feet away uh, I haven't moved from when I just recorded the last clip and I'm streaming 1080p and it hasn't lagged once I ran inside watched it for two minutes it plays just fine so even streaming uh, from this distance is ridiculously awesome okay so to give this router a final score I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 and here are the pros the first is, is that as I demonstrated and explained the range on this thing is extreme when it comes to just uh, downloading stuff from the internet or streaming stuff via DLNA like I did earlier. Uh, the router itself supports 802.11 ABGN, which is uh, great, you know, backwards compatibility, and of course it supports AC as well, which means that it's pretty much future proof because AC is still very new. The router itself supports USB sticks or external hard drives. It allows for torrent downloading, so if you have a large file to download, you don't have to leave your computer on. The router also supports dual band support. There's of course parental control to block internet access times. AI Cloud is a great app you can download for your mobile device. Guest Pass blocks uh, your in your basically your home network. The interface is extremely easy to understand, whether you're a network beginner or a network expert, either way you can be good to go. In fact, there are a few more other pros I would like to list, but there's just too many to go through, so we'll leave it at that. You get what I mean, it's an awesome router. But there was a con with this router. As perfect as this router is, well, actually, it was imperfect due to one reason. As I mentioned, the first update that it was forced upon me, 
basically crashed the router and I had to fix it. Once I got it fixed, it was fine, but the point is it shouldn't have happened in the first place, especially considering how many people have complained on the internet that it has happened to them. You would think that Asus would have pulled that update off their server and then set up a different one that fixes it. But nonetheless, once it's up and running, it's a fantastic router, definitely worth checking out. So that's my review of the Asus RTAC66U. Uh, wireless router. If you found this video useful, check out my website in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.